Hello and welcome back to an academy. So let's crack NEET PG myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and I will be guiding you through NEET PG Microbiology subject. And as you know, that an academy is the India's largest platform for the daily life classes in which the educator and the experts can chat and can engage in the discussion, can ask their doubts and can do the answer polling and that to all when the live class is going on. And all the structured courses are being provided like I have started the rapid random series and in which the multiple questions are being covered from the last years. <coughs> And to prepare to evaluate the preparation with the online mock test, live test and quizzes are being provided. And the greatest benefit is mainly for those students who are actually are doing the JR ship and the medical officers at the periphery who do not get, get much of the time to prepare for the neat pitch examination can watch the videos whenever they at the time to do so. Now, one is the iconic subscriptions in the prep letter has been collaborated with the Unacademy platform in which video lectures and the cue banks are given. You can prepare with video lectures of all the subjects with printed notes and create your own test and discussion, discussion schedule. Now, rapid revision course of the undercard uh, prep letter is very famous between the aspirants and uh, you can get the best of the best from the unacademy and the pla uh, prep letter from this icon subscriptions. Now, FMG badge and the professional three-year badges course have been also been started and one of the greatest perk is when you take the 12-month subscriptions, you get the two-month subscriptions free. And please do use my code that is Muskan to get 10% of the discount. And when you take one month subscriptions, it will cost you around 40,500 after 10% discount. And you will see that uh, it is it is very uh, economical compared to other online platforms. And do use my code that is Muskan to get the 10% of the discount. Now, if any error or bug is present in the content of the site, you can just let us know and you can get the exciting offers and the prices. Today, we'll cover a very short session on the physiology of the bacteria covering the growth curve of the bacteria. Now, let's start the class now. <clears throat> Now, first is the bacterial growth and the nutrition. We'll talk about the bacterial growth requirement constitutes uh, water, about 80% of the total bacterial cell and the minimum nutrition requirements that are essential for the growth and the multiplication of the bacteria includes the sources of the carbogen, nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen and some inorganic salts such as the small amount of sulfur, phosphorus, and other elements like sodium, potassium, and the magnesium. Okay. Now, bacterial vitamins, some fastidious bacteria. Fastidious bacteria ka matlab hai ki wo bacteria jinko growth karne ke liye specific nutrition chahiye hi hota hai. Right? So, those bacteria, they doesn't grow in the routine culture medium unless certain organic compounds that are essential for that particular bacteria are added to the medium. They are known as the growth factors or the bacterial vitamins. In some instances, in most instances, bacterial vitamins are same as the vitamins necessary to mammalian nutrition, particularly those belong belonging to the vitamin B and thymine, including thymine, nicotine, riboflavin, folic acid and vitamin B12. Now, coming to the bacterial cell division, bacteria divide by a relatively simple form of the cell division that is by the binary fusion. We know that bacteria divide by binary fusion and the cell division commences when the bacterial cell reaches a critical mass. The nuclear division precedes the cytoplasmic division. This is what they are saying when the environment is favorable for the bacteria to divide. It is important to remember that first the nuclear division will take place then the cellular division or the cytoplasmic division will take place. Now coming to the nuclear division, the two strands of the bacterial DNA are separated and they replicate to form a new complementary strands. Thus two identical copies of DNA are formed. Now since the nuclear division has taken place, the cytoplasmic division, a transverse septum, 
flows across the cell from the cell membrane following which the cell wall materials are deposited and the two daughter cells finally get separated with different nuclear material and identical dna copies by the binary fission right now in few bacteria the daughter cells may remain partially attached even after cell division so that the bacterial cells are arranged in pairs or chains that we have seen in the streptococcus it is either pairs or in the chains and the step phylococcus they are present in grape shaped or in the clusters that is in the step phylococcus now coming to the role of the multiplication what is the role in bacteria generation time what is generation time is the time required for the bacteria to give rise to two daughter cells under optimum conditions optimum temperature this is the generation time inko kitna time laga ek bacteria ko do daughter cell banane mein theek hai and every generation time varies from one bacteria to another like e coli has very important we have to remember e coli ka generation time kitna hua 20 minute माइकोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरकुलोसिस का जनरेशन टाइम कितना हुआ 10 टू 15 आवर्स माइकोबैक्टीरियम लैपरे का 12 टू 13 डेज एस बैक्टीरिया ग्रो सो रैपिडली एंड बाय जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन अ सिंगल बैक्टीरिया कैन सोटिकली राइज टू 1021 डॉटर सेल्स इन जस्ट 24 आवर्स so rate of multiplication why it is important to get the generation time and by the generation time we can actually do the diagnosis of the bacteria most important is the e coli takes only 20 minutes to get to form the two daughter cells and the microbacterium tuberculosis around 10 to 15 hours and lepre from 12 to 13 hours ठीक है ना फॉर्चुनेटली इट डजेंट हैपन इन रियालिटी बिकॉज बैक्टीरिया मल्टीप्लीकेशन अरेस्टेड फॉर फ्यू सेल डिविजन ड्यू टू द अनैचुरल एनवायरमेंट एंड द एक्सर्शन ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन ठीक है सो वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर फॉर इक्वलाइट इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी मिनट्स फॉर द लैपरेट इज ट्वेल्व डेज एंड फॉर द ट्यूबरकुलोसिस माइक्रोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूबरकुलोसिस इट इज अबाउट टेन टू फिफ्टीन आवर्स now bacterial count bacterial count may be expressed in terms of the total count bacterial count ka kya matlab hai total count theek hai ab total count mein apan total bacteria count karenge chahe wo live ho chahe wo dead ho theek hai so this is the total count so bacterial count is termed in in terms of the total count and this is done by counting the bacteria under the microscope using the counting chamber theek hai and what is viable count that it it measures measures only the viable bacteria in the given specimen and may be obtained by technique that is the power plate method so what is the key points we have to remember जनरेशन टाइम मतलब अपनी डॉटर सेल को जनरेट करने का टाइम दैट इज अ ई कोलाई 20 मिनट्स फॉर टीबी इट इज 10 टू 15 आवर्स and for the lepre lepre ka lcl yaad rakho it is the longest that is the 12 days theek hai bacterial count is a total number that is a life plus dead viable only the viable under the power play technique we see theek hai now bacterial growth curve is very important because phase is important hai when a bacteria is inoculated into the suitable liquid culture medium incubated it growth follows a definite course when bacteria count of such a culture is determined at different intervals and plotted in relation to the time it is growth curve of the bacteria is obtained into four phases one is the lag phase log phase stationary phase and the death phase theek hai that is a lag log stationary and the death in the lag phase now the bacteria just tries to uh, try to accommodate with the surrounding environment in the log phase the bacteria actively multiplicates and in the stationary phase the nutrition and the for the bacteria is uh, equal amount right so they doesn't exponentially they form they remains in the stationary phase and then comes the death phase first we'll talk about the lag phase ठीक है ना लैग फेज इट इज द एज वी सो दिट दिस वॉज द लैग फेज सो लैग फेज इट इज द टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन द इनोक्यूलेशन एंड द बिगनिंग ऑफ द मल्टीप्लीकेशन जैसे यहाँ पे बैक्टीरिया को इनोक्यूलेट किया फिर जैसे बिगनिंग ऑफ द 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन के बीच का जो फेज है ये लैग फेज है After inoculating the bacteria in culture media, bacteria will not start multiplying immediately. ठीक है? It will accommodate to the environment. वो अपने अंदर enzymes और metabolites को build करने में कुछ time लेगा और वो time lag phase है या फिर latent phase है. Bacteria increases in the size. So here what will happen? Bacteria will only increase in size to accumulate enzymes and important metabolite. That is required, and it reaches maximum by the end of the lag phase. So we have to remember key point that the bacteria size is here. Maximum. Okay? maximum size. Okay? Next is the log phase. Now, log phase is all the bacteria has enzymes and metabolites. So, in log phase, what will happen? Bacteria will exponentially divide. Okay? So, the growth curve takes the shape of a straight line. So, here will be a straight line. So we have to remember that here the line is straight and bacteria will be smaller in the size because their main aim is to multiply okay? and biochemical activity is the best stage to perform the biochemical reactions and they are uniformly stained best time to perform the grand stain so very important point that if the straight line ka curve will exponentially multiply karengi, to here will biochemically active bhi hai or uniformly stained bhi hai. Most important point. So, lag phase में तो क्या था? Size बढ़ गया था. यहाँ पे divide होंगी. तो अपन यहाँ पे uniformly इनको stain कर सकते हैं. Next is the stationary phase. Now, after the log phase, the bacterial growth will cease because due to the exertion, exertion of the nutrients that is present in the surrounding environment. And since so many bacteria are exponentially dividing, they will release the toxic products and the autolytic enzymes. Therefore, the number of the cells formed is just enough to replace the number of the cells that die. Okay? So, very important. So, this is how we saw now here. The number of the cell viable cells is equal to number of death. Because here the number of viable cells multiplication was more and they were uniformly stained. Okay? So therefore, therefore it is it is what a stationary phase. It is what a stationary phase. Why? Because the number of the multiplying cells is equal to the number of the dead cells because the nutrition is exhausted. Now there is almost a balance. So there is almost a balance between the dying cells and newly formed cells, but the total count keeps raising. In this phase, total count तो हमने देखा था total count का तो मतलब यही होता है dead bacteria plus viable bacteria, so total count will increase. Bacteria becomes gram variable, more storage granules are formed, and sporulation will occurs in this. Phase. Most important point to remember that sporulation will happen here. That means vegetative form will spore form. Because they are showing that they are going to be finished and their nutrition will be finished. So they will go into the sporulation forms. So lag phase, what was the size of the bacteria? The next stage was the multiplication of the bacteria. So it was very stained. And as far as in the stationary phase, sporulation will happen in the sporulation phase. Other than this, the release of the bacterial toxins and antibiotics and the bacterial cells. Right now, next is the decline phase. Now, decline phase is what gradually the bacteria will start declining, decline and will start dividing. Stop dividing while the cell death continues. So total count तो यहाँ पे भी बढ़ेगा क्यों? क्योंकि dead bacteria भरने लग गई है ना और viable bacteria तो कम होगी लेकिन तो total number of bacteria will start accumulating. Total number will increase क्योंकि toxic products जो है वो increase हो गए enzymes जो autolytic enzymes वो release ज़्यादा हो रहे हैं dead bacteria से. So there is a decline in a viable but total count will still increase. Now, evolution forms are seen here, okay? So, involution forms are seen here. So, this is the lag phase, no increase in the number of the living. Log phase exponentially increase. Stationary as for as sporulation will be seen and the plateau in the stationary phase and the rate of the cell division and the cell death are equally. Death exponentially decrease in the number of the living cell. <coughs> <coughs>
so this was about the growth now what are the factors affecting the growth there are several environmental factors that affect the growth of the bacteria now first we'll talk about the oxygen now we'll talk about the obligate aerobes now, obligate aerobes are those bacteria that can only grow in the presence of the oxygen. Okay, where there is obligate, hai, oh, hai, matab, only, obligate matab, only. Okay, so only in the presence of oxygen. Very famous examples, pseudomonas, mycobacterium, tuberculosis. If you remember, that mycobacterium, which is the lung, the upper, upper part, is the apex, is there. Why? Because there is more oxygen, more perfusion. So, therefore, they can grow uh, only in the presence of oxygen that is the pseudomonas and the tuberculosis sclerobacillus and brucella <coughs> next is the facultative anaerobe तो हमने याद करने के लिए क्या देखा जहां फैकल्टेटिव आ जाए और anaerobe है उसका मतलब है कि उसको aerobic condition कम चाहिए that is they are aerobes that can also grow anaerobically okay so most of the pathogenic bacteria they are mostly aerobes but they can also grow anaerobically so facultative anaerobes ka matlab ki they can grow anaerobically as well facultative aerobe that is they can can grow aerobically as well iska matlab wo anaerobe hai but they can grow aerobically as well तो उसके लास्ट टर्म से याद रखो फैकल्टेटिव एनएरो मतलब दे कैन ग्रो एन एरोबिकली एज वेल फैकल्टेटिव एरो दैट इज दे कैन ग्रो एरोबिकली एज वेल दैट इज द लैक्टोबैसिलस माइक्रो एरोफिलिक माइक्रो का मतलब छोटा अमाउंट दैट इज ओनली अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन कंसंट्रेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड अबाउट 5 टू 10 इसका एग्जांपल हमको याद करना है दैट इज द हेलिकोबैक्टर एंड कैम्पाइलोबैक्टर Okay, we have to remember this example. Next is the obligate anaerobe that is only requiring anaerobic conditions. That is, bacteria can grow only in absence of oxygen. And oxygen presence is lethal to them. That is a closed radium titany. If you remember that titanus is an anaerobic condition. Now, aerotolerant anaerobe. That is, the aerotolerant matlab ki Aero ke liye tolerant hai, matlab oxygen ke liye tolerant hai, that is they can tolerate oxygen for some time, but they will not use it, that is a closed radium histolytica. So obligate aero matlab only require oxygen, facultative anaero that is can grow in anaerobic condition, facultative aero that is can grow in aerobic condition by the last term we remember. Micro aerophilic matter, chota amount of oxygen is required for 5 to 10 percent. That is Campylobacter helicobacter, uh, Campylobacter helicobacter, obligate anaerobic that is required only anaerobic condition that is tetanus and that is close to tetany and that aero tolerant matter, aero kelly tolerant matter, oxygen kelly tolerant, but oxygen is not used of them. Now coming to the CO2 organisms that require higher amount of CO2 about 5 to 10 percent for the growth are called as the capnophilic. That is they require the CO2 in 5 to 10 percent and they are capnophilic. Examples include the brucella and streptococcus. Temperature mostly grow at optimal temperature of 37. However, optimal temperature may vary. Important example one is the cyclophiles that is they grow at temperature bit below 20 degree. Take okay, examples pseudomonas. Mesophiles that is between 25 to 40. That is meso is medium temperature beach ka. That is 25 to 40. Take okay, most of the pathogenic bacteria. Thermophiles. Thermose is temperature higher, that is 55 to 80. That is the geobacillus geothermophilus that we also see to check out the, uh, the sterilization in the autoclave you know, and the plasma sterilizers. Okay, so how do you PMT? Okay, psychophiles that is 20 degrees second temperature medium, that is the mesophiles between 25 to 40, and thermo that is a 55 to 80. Okay. pH. 
pH mostly it is requiring 7.2 to 7.6. Very few bacteria can grow at the acidic pH. While bacteria, just as it will grow, because upon Wipro cholera, clearly, आपके लिए याद हो. तो अपन alkaline pepton water. It was a selective media that we were using for the Wipro cholera. It was the media that we were selectively using for the Wipro cholera because it has the alkaline. pH and the vibro colony grows best at the pH of 7.2 to 7.6 light they grow well in the darkness but phototrops ko chhod ke they are sensitive to uv light and other radiations that is photochromatic myo bacteria produce pigments only in the exposure to light osmotic effect bacteria are able to withstand a wide range of external osmotic variation because of the mechanical strength however certain exposure as a hypertonic saline may cause the cell shrinkage plasma lysis and to distill water that is causing the swelling that is a plasmoptesis right mechanical sonic stress though bacteria have tough cell wall they may be ruptured by the vigorous shaking with the glass beads and the exposure to the ultrasonic vibrations next is the moisture moisture is requirement for the growth of the bacteria because 80% consist of the water therefore drying has varying effect some organisms like trypanoma pallidum nigeria are going to die quickly after drying while mtb and staph aureus are survive even after several weeks drying in cold and vacuum is used for the preservation and the technique is the lyophilization Yeah. Now coming to the bacterial metabolism. Bacterial metabolism is a process by which microbe obtains the energy for its survival and the reproduction. And what are the metabolism that they use? One is the autotrophs. That is, अपने आप से बनाना. That is, they can synthesize their all organic compounds by using the atmospheric CO2. as the sole source of the carbon that is they are the autotrophs heterotrophs that is they use the carbon zones they are reused performed organic molecules as the carbon source how the bacteria obtain reducing equivalence are used that is lithotrophs that is they obtained reducing equivalence electrodes from the inorganic organo from the organic okay now chemo that is from the chemical uh compounds they are using the energy photo that is from the light most of the pathogen bacteria are chemo organo heterotrophs right that is they are using the external chemical compounds and they are using the other uh carbon source not themselves they are using the atmospheric carbon source they are performed organ uh, organic molecules as the carbon source Right, that is these bacteria obtain energy, carbon reducing equivalents for biosynthesis from organic compounds. Right, so this was it. It was a very very short lecture. The most important we have to remember the multiplication, and in this we have to remember that first nuclear division will be, then cytoplasm will be division. Generation time means. to produce the offspring the time taken 20 minutes for e coli for labrat it l for l longest that is 12 days for tb it was 12 hour, uh, 10 to 15 hours okay bacterial count total count kya hota hai life plus death viable only life the phases important the lag log stationary death lag me it was time taken for the bacteria to accumulate enzymes and metabolism to highest size maximum size log mein continuous multiplication to exponentially straight line theek hai aur uniformly stained on stationary phase viable or dead bacteria equal amount hui ki nutrition khatam ho gaya phir death exponentially declined phase theek hai aur humne yaad kiya tha stationary as for as sporulation will takes place in stationary and involution will takes place in death phase theek hai aur uniformly stained in log phase so easy now one example we have to remember is the micro aerophilic that is the h pylori and the helicobacter and the uh, uh, campylobacter that is requiring a minimum amount of oxygen 5 to 10% of oxygen we have to remember the example psychophiles below 20 degree celsius mesophiles 25 to 40 and thermophiles more than 45 to 80 pH seven point two to seven point six. 
other than this it was not that important so thank you for today's session it was very short and concise session and please do use my code that is muskan to get 10% of discount on the uh, an, an academy need be subscriptions and do watch my rapid rqs series on the special class and other qs series on the youtube and totally free for the students only the question uh, will be covered until the exam happens then the rest of the syllabus i will be covering right so just before examination the questions will be covered and please do like share and subscribe and do not panic and just take care of uh, yourself unless you will be catching a viral just like me i am suffering so just take care of yourself and do not panic and have a good sleep and good food before the examination and take a good sleep just before the examination do not panic and do not change the any type of source of your preparation right now just practice two to three gt per uh, week and uh, do not look at the marks that you're obtaining just have your practice of sitting for a continuous three and a half hours on the g uh, on the examination try practicing the continuous paper and the grand test right revise the volatile subjects just before the examination few days before the examination and this is it you will be easy to do it just don't panic and see you in the next se session and the next special class i hope that you are doing well and you all are safe So we'll see you in the next class.